I'm a big fan of the WireGuard VPN protocol because it's fast, it's secure and it's really simple. And I've made several videos in the past talking about how to set up your own WireGuard VPN server on Linux and Docker. But what if I can tell you that you don't need to manage all the configuration yourself. So you don't need to create SSH keys, you don't need to mess around with IP addresses, firewalls, port forwardings. You can just connect all your machines and it just magically works. This is what you can do with Tailscale. Thanks to the people on my Discord who told me that I should take a look at Tailscale. That's a pretty cool service. It creates a virtual private network for all your devices where you just can connect from anywhere to any machine that's on the network. So for example, you have a home lab server where you just want to connect to or a cloud server in a data center or maybe you are in a hotel with your laptop and your mobile phone and you want all these machines automatically directly connected to each other and you don't want to mess around with any private or public IP addresses, any port forwardings or authentication stuff where in a hotel you probably even don't have access to so this is exactly where Tailscale fits in. So Tailscale is what we call a zero config VPN. So it's based on the WireGuard VPN protocol, which is really secure, fast and really simple. And it manages everything for you. So it manages the creation of private and public SSH key pairs. It manages the authentication and even the network configuration. So it's also able to connect through NAT firewalls you usually would need to manage and create port forwardings to. So that sounds really, really amazing. And to be honest, guys, I'm pretty excited about this because in IT or VPN technology, we had things like SSL or IPsec that are existing for decades and there was literally no real innovation or changes happening there in the last past years. For a network security guy like me who is working in the IT industry over 10 years now, I've seen many VPN configurations and troubleshooted a lot of different customer scenarios where it can get a really complex mess to troubleshoot all the stuff. And it's really interesting to see that there are modern innovative services raising up just like WireGuard and Tailscale that can manage and simplify all these processes for us. And yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to believe that there is a service existing that does all this complicated technology stuff and it just magically works. But yeah, it is really true. It is really that simple. And of course, I'm gonna show it to you. To get started with Tailscale, just go to the official homepage. I've put your link in the description down below and there you will get some nice information about the service and how to use it. So as discussed, it is a secure network that just works and this works with a zero config VPN that installs on any device. It manages firewall routes for you and it works from anywhere. So that sounds pretty cool. Let's also try to find out what is actually different in tail scale compared to other VPN networks. And there's a very nice demonstration or a nice diagram that explains some of the architecture. So this is how we would traditionally deploy VPN connections within any network. So you are here and you want to connect to any network where there is a file server or other devices located and you usually establish a connection from your client to a VPN gateway. And from there it probably connects to another jump host through another tunnel or a subnet and you can see even in small or medium sized companies it get really really hard to manage all this infrastructure and to manage all the configuration on all the clients, the authentication, the key exchange, the firewall rules and all this stuff. So now Tailscale comes in and it really tries to simplify that whole process and the management of VPN connections. So with Tailscale this same topology looks exactly like this here. So you're still somewhere here and you want to connect to a file server, to another machine, to another server, whatever. But instead of just connecting from a client to a VPN gateway, you are establishing separate WireGuard VPN tunnels to each individual machine you want to connect to. And this is what we would call a mesh network. So we will talk about the architecture later. Let's first of all try to get started with that and I will demonstrate how that works to you. So to use Tailscale you just scroll up and click on get started and now you need to sign up with one of these free providers here. Use a Google account, a Microsoft or your GitHub account. You need to use one of these free providers. You cannot really sign up with your email because they probably just don't want to manage any credentials. Instead you just use your already existing account and you can also protect that with two-factor authentication from each of these services for example. So that's pretty nice. And once you're logged in you see the dashboard. So this is my virtual private network where all the machines are connected to my network and you can see I don't really have a private IP address range or something like this. 
Tailscale automatically allocates a different IP address for each of your machines that are connected to your network. But you can also just ping from this machine here to this IP address and just all the machines are connected to each other in one virtual private network that is completely isolated for your account. And as described, it works and on any device. You can see I have some Linux machines connected here. This is my home server that is in my home network. Then I have my Android Galaxy phone that is connected. I also have my cloud instance on DigitalOcean that is connected here and also my Windows machine. And maybe I just want to connect from my local workstation to my cloud instance securely. So I will just copy this IP address here. And first of all, let's try to ping this machine. And you can see it's automatically then connected. You can see there is a short delay at the first ping packet. And this is because Tailscale will first need to initiate a new WireGuard tunnel and it's doing some key exchange stuff. So therefore the first connection attempt may take some more time. But once the connection is established, it's really really fast. So you can also of course use that to connect to any services that are now installed on my cloud instance and I just use this private IP address where the connection is just secured. So for example I can just SSH into this machine here and use the encrypted tunnel to connect to any machines or whatever. So that's really really cool. But let me also walk you through the creation process or installing process if you want to add another machine here. So to add more machines here you simply just need to install the tail scale client on all these machines it needs to run anywhere but it is really simple just click on download and you can see you can install that on mac os you can install that on your iphone on your windows machine on any linux distributions you can see there are a lot of installer guides for any of these distributions here and of course also android Let's create a new virtual machine to just test and try this out. And I will just use Vagrant to quickly create a new virtual machine. By the way, if you don't know Vagrant, that's an automation framework to automate the creation and the provisioning process of virtual machines that are located on your local workstation. So it's pretty cool. I've made several tutorials about it. So I've put you the links in the description down below. And our new virtual server is up and running. You can see it just took 1 minute and 21 seconds. Let's SSH into this machine and let's install Tailscale. So now if we want to install that on Ubuntu, let's click on Linux and select the distribution that's Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. And first of all, we need to add the Tailscale repositories to our package sources list. And then we are able to install the application through the apt package manager. So let's paste the commands and then we need to update our package sources with an apt update. And after that is done, we should be able to install Tailscale. So just copy this command here, install the application. And with a sudo tail scale up, you can start establishing the VPN connection. You can also see it creates a sim link within the system D service. So the VPN connection is also automatically restarted once you reboot your server. And when you connect it, first of all, you need to go to this link here and authenticate with your tail scale account. So once you signed in, you can just close this window. And if we go back to the terminal, we can see that there is a success. So now, how can we test if the VPN connection is really established? You can also use the tailscale command to do that. So for example, just enter tailscale status. And then you can see you are con now connected to all these different servers. And if you try to ping one, for example, let's just try to ping my home server. For example, you should see that the connection is already established. And one thing that is pretty interesting, if you compare the latency between the connection to my cloud instance and to any machine on my local network where this virtual machine is already created, you can see that the latency is very, very low. And that's pretty impressive because the tail scale is smart enough to determine the most efficient and the fastest path to the destination host that you want to connect to. So it's not just one network where there is a gateway that forwards the connections. There is always a separate connection between each individual host. That is what we call a mesh network. But how does it work? How is Tailscale able to magically connect all these networks no matter where they are located and if there is a firewall in between without forwarding on or configuring any ports? So that's the most interesting part for me. So let's take a look at the architecture of Tailscale and how the network protocol really works because this is really amazing. Let's take a look.
To explain how tailscale work, I will just refer to the official documentation because this is so well written. If you want to really know how to write a good technical documentation that has a lot of complex technical information, but it's still exciting and very easy to read, just go and use this as an example. So this guy really knows how to write an awesome technical documentation. So to understand what are the benefits of tailscale and how it really works, we first of all need to go one step back and talk about traditional VPN networks and topologies. So how we would usually connect any VPN networks within IT infrastructure. And the first model is the hub and spoke networks. This is how we usually deploy any VPN connections. So we usually have many different clients, maybe some people in the home office or anywhere else. And the VPN gateway is the main device that connects all this stuff. So each client connects to the VPN gateway and then this forwards the connection to each individual server on this particular subnet. So this is great for small environments or where you have just one network and all the clients want to connect to this particular network. So this is great, but it has some problems. Once you add more networks to that, it can get quite complex and messy to set up, especially when we have something like this here. So we have a client that wants to connect to New York City location and you can see it's relatively nearby, but because we're using a VPN gateway that is probably located somewhere else, we need to route this connection to the VPN network that's then connected back to this network. So the solution to that probably would be that we would connect the client directly to the server and not use a VPN gateway. So this would be something like this here. The client is connected to all the different offices or all the different networks. But that would also mean that we need to maintain and manage a separate tunnel for each connection the client wants to connect to. And the other problem we have is just because the client is connected to all these different networks, that doesn't mean that these networks can talk to each other. So if you really want to connect everything within your network so that every client can connect to each server and each server can connect to all the other servers and to the client as well, we would need to come up with a different topology that we would usually call a mesh network. So now we are just talking about nodes. So every client, every server, every device is a node and each node is connected to each other node within the same VPN. And you can see that even with a small topology, for example, 10 nodes that get quite complex because we need to maintain 90 connections in this example here for just connecting 10 nodes. You need to imagine as a network administrator, you need to create private and public key pairs. You need to exchange these keys. You need to maintain all the IP addresses and everything else. So this becomes quite a lot of effort. So here comes the Tailscale Coordination Server that manages all this stuff for us. So each Tailscale client or each Tailscale node will connect to the Tailscale Coordination Server and it gets the encryption keys, it gets all the IP addresses and the information where to connect to. So this is really cool. You can read through all the technical documentation if you really want to understand how it works on a very deep level, of course. But I just want to walk you through some of the basics here because usually the biggest hole we have in connecting VPN networks is NAT traversal. So NAT stands for Network Address Translation and this is built into every router, every firewall that is somewhere located on the network. So for example if you are on a home network you usually have a router and that is doing a NAT and yeah on home network where you have access to the NAT device or to the router or firewall you probably can just add a forward rule or port forwarding but you need to imagine if you are traveling somewhere if you are in a hotel or somewhere else where you don't really have control over the network, there usually will be a NAT device in between that you cannot manage and you cannot access. And probably there are also some other restrictions. For example, maybe the device is blocking UDP traffic on a specific port completely, or maybe you need to authenticate somehow, whatever. So there can be a lot of nasty things <laughs> inside any networks. And that usually causes a lot of problems, especially when we need to maintain or manage these connections. So Tailscale works with a bunch of different, quite complex technologies that try to punch holes into these firewalls and into these NAT systems. It also has something like DERP, so DRP comes into place when there is a firewall that blocks every UDP traffic completely. So DRP will just send out the UDP traffic over an HTTPS stream and relays that through a separate server that will just blindly forward the packets without any decryption stuff happening. So that's still pretty secure and it's a really really great workaround to break through networks that block UDP traffic completely. 
So you can see that Tailscale introduces a lot of great but also complex VPN technologies that are all working behind the scenes and in the background. So you don't need to really mess around with that, but it's really interesting to understand how it works. And because of all these protocols and all these technologies, Tailscale is able to provide a very simple and for the user experience, magically easy way to connect all the different devices. And the best part is it's completely free, at least up to 100 devices and limited to a single user. So of course, if you want to use that in any corporate environment, if you have specific requirements for IoT devices or single sign-on or anything else, you of course need to pay for that. For a small home network, just like I have, the free plan is completely feasible. So the next thing is I want to take a look at Magic DNS and some of the other beta features Tailscale has. So if you're interested in this and you want to see some specific stuff, then just leave me a comment because then I can take a look and I know what you guys are interested in. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you could learn something new and this was exciting. So please don't forget to hit the like button and of course subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more tutorials and content for IT professionals. So thanks everybody for watching. I'm out. Bye bye.